bright duty every student matters hello friends in earlier videos we learned about fractions and about division as well so how do we multiply or divide fraction with a fraction fraction with a whole number or if we have mixed fractions we completed first three exercise as well now in this video we'll be moving on to another exercise which is exercise 2.4 Let's try and solve the examples or let's try and solve the questions here. Let's start with the first question of this exercise. It has find 12 divided by 3 by 4. As we already did in earlier videos about it, what do we do? Give it a guess. Yes, be with pen and paper so that you can do it yourself and if you have any doubt, you can clear here itself. Yes, we'll be going ahead and writing 12 here and we will be writing a multiplication sign rather than division and we'll do the reciprocal of 3 by 4 now we can cancel something out so we'll do that 3 times 4 is 12 so 4 times 4 will be 16 moving on to the second part we'll be doing 14 as it is multiply by 6 by 5 by flipping or finding out the reciprocal of 5 by 6 now we cannot cancel anything out We'll be getting 14 times 6 over 5. So 14 times 6 will be 84 by 5. Now we can go ahead and convert it to the fraction. We'll be getting 5 is the 5, 5 is the 30, 4 by 5. We'll be getting 16 over 5. Moving on to the next part, keeping a decimal multiplying and find the reciprocal of 7 by 3, which is 3 by 7. We cannot cancel anything out. So it will be 8 times 3 by 7, which is 24 by 7. Solving it out and converting it to a mixed fraction, we will be getting 3, 3 times 7. Moving on to another part, the fourth part, we will be doing the same thing, 4 multiplied by 3 by 8. Now here, we can cancel this out, so we are left with only 3 by 2 as our final answer. Now over here we have a whole number and a mixed fraction. So what do we do over here? We'll be writing three divided by as it is. We'll converting improper, converting it to improper fraction, which will be three to the six plus one seven by three. So now three times three by seven. So what we did? We've actually done the reciprocal of seven by three, which is three by seven. So multiplying the numerators and denominators will leads us to nine by seven. So converting it to mixed fraction. You'll be getting one two by seven. Moving on to another part, doing it same way, shifting or converting mixed fraction to improper fraction. Seven three is a twenty one plus four is twenty five by seven. Now we'll be multiplying and finding out the reciprocal. Since we can cancel five and twenty five out, we'll be getting seven by five only. Since it's an improper fraction. So we'll be converting it to mixed fractions. So we'll be getting the final answer as one two by five. Moving on to question two, we need to find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions, and then we need to classify: is it proper fraction, improper fraction, or whole numbers? Let's start that. So reciprocal of three by seven is is seven. Seven by three. Now tell me, seven by three, proper fraction, improper fraction, or whole number? Yes, that will be an improper fraction. So the first part will be improper fraction. Moving on to the second part, reciprocal of five by eight will be eight by five. Would that be proper or improper fraction? Very good. Again, that will be improper fraction. How about next part? Nine by seven will turns to seven by nine, which is a proper fraction. So what we understood, if we have question as a proper fraction, we'll be getting an improper fraction as an answer. If in a question it's improper fraction, we'll be getting proper fraction as an answer. So six by five will turn to five by six, which will be a proper fraction with us. Let's move on to fifth part. For it, we'll be getting seven by twelve, which is a proper fraction. How about one by eight? We'll be getting eight by one, which is actually eight only, which we can say is a whole 
number because anything if we have one in the denominator we can take it as a whole number itself again we have 1 by 11 we'll be moving on to 11 by 1 which itself is 11 and we can say that it is a whole number now moving on to third question we need to find the following let's start with the first one we will keep 7 by 3 as it is we'll write the multiplication sign over here we can write 2 as 2 by 1 and we'll flip or we'll convert or we'll invert we will do the reciprocal of 2 by 1 which is 1 by 2. We cannot cancel anything out. So we will multiply the numerators and the denominator. Since we can see that it is an improper fraction. So we will be converting it to mixed fraction. Moving on to next part. So we will be doing 4 by 9 times 5 by 1 or 1 by 5. Yes, that will be 1 by 5. Cannot cancel anything. So we will be getting 4 by 5. 45. Now this is a proper fraction so there is no need to convert it anymore. Moving on to the third part, we will be getting 1 by 7, the same thing, we will be getting 6 upon 51 by multiplying the numerators and denominators. Oh, I am sorry, 13, 7 will be 91, that will not be 51. Okay, moving on to fourth part. 4 1 by 3 converting it to improper fraction first. So we are getting 3 for the 12 plus 1 13 by 3 divided by 3. It means we have 13 by 3 into 1 by 3 as we have 3 by 1 over here and we need to write down the reciprocal of it. So we are getting 13 by 9 and we will be getting the final answer as 1 4 by 9. Moving on to fifth part. Doing the same thing which we are doing in earlier questions. We will be getting 1 by 4 which will be 7 by 8. Since it is a proper fraction so we don't have to do anything onto it. Doing the same thing over here. So we will 31 by 7 into 1 by 7. So we get 31 by 49. Moving on to fourth question. This is the last question of this exercise. We need to find these two. So what do we do? We will keep first fraction as it is. Write multiplication sign. And find the, write down the reciprocal of the second fraction which is 2 over here. So we will be getting 4 by 5 as an answer. Moving on to the second part. By following the same procedure which we have. Now if we can cancel anything out we will do that. So we will be getting 2 by 3 as the final answer. Moving on to the next part. So we will be getting this. We can cancel the 7 out. We are left with only 3 by 8. Moving on to another part. Converting that in mixed fraction to improper fraction first. So 3 to the 6 plus 1. 7 by 3 divided by 3 by 5. So which will get 7 by 3 times 5 by 3. So we will be getting 35 by 9. Since an improper fraction. So we will be writing 9 3 to 27. 8 by 9. So 3, 8 by 9 is the final answer which we will get for this option for this part. Doing the same thing, 7 by 2 divided by 8 by 3, which will come up to 7 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 8. We cannot cancel anything out, so we are left with 21 by 16. So we'll be getting 1, 5 by 16. Moving on to another part. We'll converting that proper fraction. Mixed fraction to improper fraction. We will be getting 3 by 2. After solving this, we will be getting 2 by 3. So, multiplying it, we will get 4 by 15. Moving on to last two parts. Now, we have both the fractions as mixed fraction. So, we will be converting both of them to improper fraction first. So, we are getting 5 is a 15 plus 1, 16 by 5 divided by 5 by 3. So, what we get, we will be multiplying and finding the reciprocal of it. So, which will be 48 by 25. That means 1, 23 by 25 is the final answer. Last part says, converting the same thing and following the same procedure, we will be getting 11 by 5 divided by 6 by 5. So, we will be getting 11 by 5 multiplied by 5 by 6, cancelling them out. We will be getting 11 by 6 which is 1, 5 by 
six, which is your final answer. This is it for our this video. We have completed this exercise now. We will be coming up with other videos with other subtopics. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.